in the series of uh, our favorite verse from Bhagavad Gita, the Song of God. The verse that I have selected today is from 6th chapter, Dhyan Yoga, Yoga of Meditation. The verse is 617, Yuktahara Viharashya, Yukta Chestashya Karmasu, Yukta Sapnava Bodhashya, Yogo Bhavati Dukkaha. In the previous verse, Sri Krishna has said, those who eat too much and eat too little, and those who sleep too much and sleep too little, they cannot attain yoga. That was 6.16 and in 6.17 he says, but those who are temperate in eating, those who are temperate in sleep, temperate in recreation and temperate in work, they attain yoga. Now what is the meaning of attainment of yoga? We have been discussing that unless the soul connects to the divine, we don't attain the bliss and the peace which our soul covets. Currently, we all feel that something is missing in our life. We have some fear, some restlessness, we have some lack of fulfillment. That means the soul is desiring something which will complete the search. And that is the meaning of yoga, because the soul wants God. The soul is looking for the divine connection. This has to be understood, that the soul will not get its uh, fulfillment from the world, no matter how much we try. And we have seen examples, even with all the opulences, the person is still hankering, still lamenting. So first of all, we have to recognize the fact that the yoga is essential. The yoga is sine qua non. Yoga means union with God. So we are all wanting union of God. To reach that stage of fulfillment, to reach that stage of completion, self-actualization, the highest that will only come with the connection with the Supreme Almighty. Having understood that, let us see this verse once again. Yukta hara viharasya, yukta chestasya karmasu, yukta sapnava bodasya, yogo bhavati dukkha. You cannot eat too much, you cannot eat too little, you cannot sleep too much, you cannot sleep too little. You cannot just be walking and you cannot just be playing. There has to be a middle path. The middle path that is also mentioned in the Buddhist philosophy. Remember the time when Buddha was fasting, he was experimenting the process of fasting, starving himself from food and he was growing weaker and weaker. And then one day as he sat on this fast, having been on the fasting trail for many days, he hears the song being sung by the village women. The village women were passing by, they were carrying their earthen pots, they were going to the wells or the rivers to fetch water and they were singing a song, the meaning of which was, do not tighten the string of your veena, the musical instrument. Do not tighten the string so much that it breaks and do not keep it loose such that the musical notes cannot 
be produced so the strings of the musical instrument instrument has to be tuned so well that it is neither too tight nor too loose and the music is produced this song had a profound effect on buddha and he broke his fast and then he came out with this principle of the middle path one has to learn temperate condition and apply that in our lives that is what shri krishna is teaching us in bhagavad gita the song of god that your sleep has to be regulated your food has to be regulated your recreation has to be regulated your work has to be regulated this is such an important formula for all of us executives in corporate world players in the competitive arena doctors engineers workers other professionals many of us get so tensed and so hard pressed due to the rigors of work we have so much difficulties in maintaining the balance constantly we are fighting ill health we are fighting irritation we are fighting negativities so here is the golden formula look at how you eat food element is so important watch the quantity watch the timing in formula 44 we say you can get rid of most of the health issues just by eating a little bit less than your hunger and the second rule is finish your eating before sunset so let us apply this and see for ourselves how it benefits same thing with the sleep unless we learn to wake up early after 5 6 hours of sound sleep how do we put in extra efforts how do we do our meditation and exercises and water therapy etc so don't sleep too much at the same time it cannot be just 2 hours or 3 hours or 4 hours sleep for about 5 6 hours let us sleep early and get up early same thing with the recreation we should all develop some some recreational habits for example we learn how to sing if we have some talent or we learn how to play a musical instrument or we take interest in a sports we go and play some tennis or cricket or soccer or some indoor games like table tennis etc walking yoga so many ways to do recreation and then when it comes to work don't just work in a way that it tires you and it dulls you we should get up walk around talk to colleagues resolve some issues while we are standing in the pantry while we went for lunch so many ways to make the work humorous and efficient many a times that was my experience that some of the issues which bogged me down i couldn't resolve in a normal way i went out sat with a colleague of mine perhaps had a cup of tea and then lo and behold the issue was resolved so today's meditation once again is based on 617 a very prominent iconic verse from bhagavad gita about work life balance yukta har viharasya yukta cheshtasya karmsu yukta sapnava bodhasya yogo bhavati dukkha 
be temperate in food, in sleep, in recreation and in work and then we will attain yoga and what is the meaning of attainment of yoga? We attain everything. We are neither hankering nor lamenting. We learn how to take sound decisions which are beneficial to us and we learn to live happily and peacefully. Take care. See you in the next video.